So welcome to the Leathercraft Masterclass in an impromptu uh, video that I wasn't going to film uh, until I just decided five minutes ago. So uh, pairing stones is the subject that I wanted to share with you and my experience buying a new one uh, today, in fact. Pairing stones uh, are a difficult one for a lot of people because it's tricky to get hold of anything with enough size and mass uh, to be an ideal pairing stone and they can be extremely heavy and if you can find them online they can be exceedingly expensive uh, to deliver more than the cost of the pairing stone itself to deliver so it's quite difficult finding a decent one so today i just wanted to share with you a hack uh, in order to uh, get yourself a pairing stone so you can get skiving on something that's decent now, I recently uh, put a crack, I'm not exactly sure how, but I put a crack, probably hammering some leather on it uh, a little bit too eagerly, on my pairing stone. So I needed to get it replaced for the next video course that I'm filming. Um, so I checked out on Google and just to see if there's a place nearby that does, you know, kind of granite or marble or anything like that. And there was a worktop manufacturer near me in the same town so i gave him up a call and i said you know i'm looking for something that's these type of measurements do you have anything and he said absolutely yeah we've got lots of offcuts come over and you know if you find something you like you can have it for free so can't really argue with that so i went there uh, the next day uh, and he showed me some different pieces from um, marble to granite and there was some synthetic quartz as well that they had and there was a piece of granite that I really liked uh, so I asked if I could have a custom cut because I didn't really want to take you know take something from them for, for nothing it's very kind of them but I prefer to kind of support local so I said you know can you cut me a piece I want it inch and a quarter thick 15 millimeters deep and 25 uh, 15 inches deep millimeters and 25 inches wide. And he said, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'll cut it today and you can come and pick it up in a few hours. So I did and ended up with this piece here, which is extremely heavy, but absolutely beautiful. Now, it doesn't really matter what it looks like too much. It's more how it performs. But you know, if it looks like that, then hopefully the camera's picking up all, that, all those sparkles and blue things and everything is really, really cool. Uh, 25 pounds, 25 pounds, which is ridiculously cheap for what it is because you can go and get a small, tiny little granite piece from a kitchen supply shop that costs more than that. Um, so it's a really easy way of finding a good pairing stone. So see if you have in your town or your city or your state or somewhere nearby that you can drive to uh, and pick up a custom cut piece of granite worktop now this is natural granite, so there's synthetic versions that look like granite as well, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend those, but you want one with a polished surface because you can buy it without any kind of polishing whatsoever. And this uh, has one of the surface, the top surface polished. You can get the sides polished because these are worktops for kitchens, so they do that. And I think it was an extra 10 pounds per surface, so, and I didn't re really need that. So. Here it is, uh, inch and a quarter thick, 15 inches by uh, 25 inches. Now it's very, very heavy, so you have to be careful picking these up and how you place them down. But it's unprepared, so the way to prepare your surface is, first of all, you have to sand the edges. So I'm gonna be using an orbital sander later to sand down the edges smooth, sand down the corners nice and smooth. Otherwise, if you're you know, taking Say this is a handbag panel, this is ostrich skin. If I put that you know, on any corner, I could very easily scratch that. Uh, and that's an expensive mistake to make. So you need to sand down the corners. It doesn't have to be a lot, um, but just so it's nice and smooth and it's not gonna catch anything, especially these sharp corners here. Right now, they're very, very sharp. So it, it wouldn't be ad advisable to use. Uh, on the underside, I like to put on these bigger pieces that one I had in the past that was quite large, not quite this large, um, is HDF, high density fiber board. It's just um, general hard board that you get that goes underneath pallets and things like that. A lot of DIY stores, hardware stores have them and supply them very, very cheap. Three mil thick, two mil thick, something like that. And then glue it to the underside just so that you can slide it around on your table if it's this size. 
um, and also it deadens the sound a little bit more as well. I wouldn't necessarily put anything soft like having a cloth like this. This is just to protect the table surface before I apply something underneath. Um, but if you have something that's too soft that flexes, it makes it easier when you're hitting the paring stone with a piece of leather to put a crack in it. So you want something that is quite hard in itself, like high density fiberboard. Um, and that means that you can move it around on the table easier as well. So just wanted to share just a quick video about how to get a decent paring stone uh, that you can do all your paring on. Very, very smooth, nicely polished surface for next to nothing really. I almost got this for free if I wanted to find a piece that they were throwing away. So it's definitely worth finding a kitchen countertop, worktop uh, shop that specializes in stone um, because it's really, really easy and really, really cheap to pick up one of these and it doesn't have to cost the earth. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please remember to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and turn on your notifications. I'll see you next time.